actually learned some news before coming onto the stage tonight, ladies and gentlemen. One of the female members of your entertainment team here at Kill is actually expecting a baby. That's the first one that's been announced. Can we have a little round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, I found out earlier on, it's lovely. I haven't decided which one yet, but I'm staying tonight. So, anyway. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not fussy. Once I've had a drink, it could be Stuart. I don't know. It's all a goal. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you now by saying thank you very, very much for cheering me up. I had a bit of a, a, bit of a bad day today. Can I have a big R? I actually freaked out my postman this morning. He looked through the letterbox and I was standing there completely naked. <laughs> I don't know what freaked him out more, the fact that I was naked or that I knew where he lived. <laughs> it's fun, then. So, I'm going to leave you with some pieces of advice because I've been working on the holiday circuit the entire year long, ladies and gentlemen, and I've picked up some good advice, especially for anybody who's got a touring caravan that you use throughout the year. Always remember these rules of the road. Red sky at night, your caravan's at night. Red sky in the morning, so is your awning. Lads, always remember the difference between light and hard. You can sleep with the light on. And I don't see the other one's really difficult. It's, it's hard. And, um, and this one's for the kids, not that one. This one. Um, I just want to let you know, basically, um, all the boys and girls, uh, I've been coming to uh, Haven Holidays for many, many years now, ever since I was a little boy, a long, long time ago, right? Now, Haven, especially Kiln Park, has become really well known over the years for having something called caravan mice. Now, I'm not trying to freak you out, because they are little creatures, they're about that big. They're nocturnal, which means they only come out at night, so you probably won't even see them, but they're very friendly. They're just noise pests. They make a lot of noise. We get a lot of complaints about it. Uh, in fact, boys and girls, if you wake up at about 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, just have a little listen for one, because a caravan mouse makes a noise that sounds like this. <laughs> just like that, OK? And don't forget, if you hear one, run into your mum and dad's bedroom and go, Mum and dad's a mouse! <laughs> Watch him jump. <laughs> oh no, don't. Uh, anyway. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, now that I've ruined your holiday, um, I'm going to finish off now with a song. Have we got any fans of Oli Murs in the room tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Brilliant stuff. This is a song by Jedwood. Here we go. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm not going to set them out of them because they're very clever lads. I know, you know, they are. If, you know, they came up with their name John and Edward, but then Jedward. They should have been called Pete and Rick. <laughs> <laughs> so, one thing I wanted to say. <laughs> I just wanted to say, ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are Liam and Spans would have noticed that some of the material performed during tonight's show. You would have heard it before. Obviously, this is a Liam tribute. You know, some of it you wouldn't have heard before because there's bits and pieces that I put there that aren't these DVDs videos making it before. I don't know what I said there. Um, the point I'm trying to make, I think, is that none of the material performed during tonight's show is meant to offend in any way, shape, or form. The bits that have been linked and the bits that have been mean, it's all in the name of comedy, it's not meant to offend. And, um, and if anyone has felt offended, then please, from the bottom of my heart, get a life. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, nobody sausage. Anyway, and uh, I'm going to finish off the uh, the show. Um, this is the. Uh, I'm going to finish off the show with a song which I want to dedicate. Uh, this is the only serious part of the show, and I'm sorry for bringing the mood down. Really, am. I don't mean to uh, deal, but it's kind of. I have to tell you the story to for you to understand the sentiment in the song. And um, I want to dedicate the song that I'm going to finish on tonight to a friend of my family who, um, who, who tragically passed away when I was a little boy. And it was, um, it was my fault. And um, he, uh, he, um, he was. I, I'll have to explain the story. Basically, before I was born, ladies and gentlemen, my mum and dad lived in a place in the Midlands called Bourneville. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it, right? But it's where the Cambridge Chocolate Factory is. That's serious, right? That's serious. And my dad worked in that factory for many, many years. After he left school, him and his mates got jobs there, and they worked together. They were best mates for a long, long time. 
Now, when I was born, we moved down to Luton and uh, lived down there for many, many years. But when I was about seven years old, my dad decided it would be a good idea to take me and my little brother Chris up to visit the Capri's Chocolate Factory for a day, to have a bit of a day out and meet some of his friends. It was a, just a chance for him to have a chinwag with some old friends, really. But it kept me and my brother happy because it was a chocolate factory, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, basically, from the moment I walked in, I could see a massive ladder, right? Now, it was clear that you weren't supposed to touch it. That didn't stop me, right? Because when I got to the end of the day, they were all chatting, and the whole time I'd been walking around, I thought, I'm climbing that ladder, right? It was in my head, and it kept going round, right? So I waited for the end of the day, when my dad and his best mates, he had John, uh, Bill, uh, Colin, there was a whole bunch of them, right? And they were all chatting, chin-wagging, and they weren't even watching what I was doing, so I thought, now's my chance. I climbed up to the top of this ladder, it was huge, right? And I was looking in to what I could only describe as a big... Um, a big vat, a big tank of chocolate, right? It was all moving around, it looked amazing. And I thought to myself, well now that I'm here, I'm gonna quickly have a try of that, so I put my hand in. When I put my hand in, one of the mechanical arms that was stirring the chocolate, you couldn't see it, it was just under the surface, right? Uh, one of the mechanical arms caught the cup of the jacket that I was wearing and pulled me in with such a force that it just lifted me straight off my feet and pulled me under. I was taken a bit by surprise, and to be honest, even at seven I couldn't swim anyway. So I was drowning. And it was my dad's best friend, Bill, that managed to save my life. I swear to you now, Bill, who was a big bloke, managed to shoot up that ladder quicker than anyone had even noticed we'd gone, right? He managed to get to the top. Once he got to the top, he couldn't even see me, so he just got in. He got in and I don't know how, because it was massive. He managed to get me out. And ladies and gentlemen, he saved my life. Um, he saved me, he really, really he did. And um, unfortunately, in the process, with Bill being such a big guy, he... Um, he, he, there was no chance he was getting out. A similar thing had happened to him. He got caught and they had to drain the machine, but by the time they drained it, he passed away. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to dedicate the song that I'm going to finish on tonight to my dad's best friend, Bill. And the song is Billy, don't be an airway. So thank you very much for watching. You've been a lovely... <coughs> don't laugh, love. What are you doing? That's disgusting! I'm not doing it. Fee, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'll do careless whisper. Cheers, darling. Thanks. <laughs> Worse, <laughs> what about Revel without a cause? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish off this one now. I've got to go, to be honest, I don't know what to do next. Never got this far before. Um, I'm going to finish off with a song by the one and only Mr. Lee Evans, ladies and gentlemen. All it remains for me to say is uh, Kiln Park. Thank you very, very much for making me feel so welcome. You've been an absolutely wonderful audience. You really have. Thanks for sticking around and watching this show. Thanks, kids. And, uh, and I hope to see you again sometime. I'm going to leave you with this song by Lee Evans called He Was a Funny Man. From me, good night, God bless. Thank you very much. Good night. Across the floor, no one has even remembered.